Hi everybody, Christopher Naiman. Okay, so the continuing saga of my strip screw. I've been getting a lot of posts from people saying that this happens to them many times. Um, some said to use a rubber band to put on there and then use your Allen wrench. That didn't work. I've gotten a lot of uh, people telling me this and that. But before I left to take this to the repair shop, I saw a comment on my video and Miley Blue suggested I get Mighty Putty, Mighty Putty Purple. Well, when I entered Mighty Putty Purple online, it came up and then there was a listing for Walgreens where you can go and buy it locally. And it said it had three to five in stock, two to five in stock. So I went there and they did not have Mighty Putty Purple. They just had this Mighty Putty and it's green. All right. And this was Billy Mays, who's dead. So I had to wonder, like, well, how old is this stuff, right? Well, see, Walgreens. And the woman didn't even have three to five in stock. Or two to five in stock. There, there was just one in stock. So, it was only ten bucks. And she said, hey, if it don't work, bring it back. Just hang on to your receipt. And I said, you know what? All right, that's a deal. So... What I'm going to do is, uh, what the things I've been reading online about it, is you're supposed to really, really need it. You, you cut a piece off, and you really, really need it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a tiny, tiny piece. Let me see if I can show you. Stick a tiny, tiny piece in that hole there. Oh, come on. Let me get it. See if I, can get, I can get you to see that. Stick it in that top hole. See the top one. See how it's been stripped? I've tried everything. So you stick it in there, then you take your Allen wrench and made an indentation of the Allen wrench. And then I'm going to let it dry for a day. Because everything online says, you got to let this stuff really dry. Now there's been reviews. 50% say it's great, 50% say it's not. On another site, they're calling it crap. So, but the Muddy Putty Purple, there was nothing on it. But I did find an article that said, according to the manufacturer, it's stronger. The Muddy putty purple is the newest and it's stronger all right so I'm gonna try this and see what happens alrighty let's open this bad boy up and see what we got here comes with gloves the instructions which I read online it says use gloves if your skin is sensitive my skin's not that sensitive Except for when I go out in the sun. That's why I never go in the sun. Everybody goes, why do you wear long sleeves? Because I don't want to get burnt. Okay, so. Alright, let's see. Alright, this is wrapped in plastic. Now, I don't need a whole lot because um, it's just a tiny, tiny hole. So there's... Yeah. Alright, so let's just do a little, little bit. Should I get some green in there? Yeah. Okay, so we got the green and the other one. All right, now I'm going to wrap it back up. Stick it back in the container. Put the cap on. All right. You're supposed to knead this until... I probably have too much here anyway. But you knead it until the color is one color. No, it does stink. You can't smell it from this distance, which you put up to your nose, it does stink. And I can smell it even with my sinus infection. So, we're just going to keep kneading that. And I'll probably fast forward this video, because you don't want to spend all this time watching me knead this thing for a couple minutes. It's, it's mostly gone. All right, so this is pretty much one solid color now, as you all can see. I've kneaded that pretty darn good. You're all my witness here. So what do you think? That's pretty solid, right? One color. All right, so let me set the camera up so you can watch me put it in the hole. 
Okay, so this is my last resort before I take it into the dealer. So I'm going to rub this. I'm going to make a little ball here. I'm going to place it. Oh, that's still too big. I'll try this much right here. I'm going to place that ball right. Oh, that's even still too big. Well, let's see. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that they strip their screws on their on their serger. Whoops, lost that one, went down the drain. All right, get another one. So I'm surprised that so many have done this, so I'm, I'm not the only one that did it. I gotta force it in that hole. That's what I do with my fingers here. Huh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting it in there. Oh, we gotta clean up around there though. I don't wanna mess up anything else around here. Get rid of this. Now, just to show you the bottom screw works I'm gonna take that one out okay. you see that works I'm taking this one out pretty deep I lost a lot of thread there there we go okay see there's the bottom so you know that this works so now I'm going to stick this in to make an indentation. All right? There we go. And we'll wait for that to dry. Make sure I got the good indentation in there now. Let me just fill that again. Something tells me that might not be enough. And just make sure. Well, what a project. I spent two days on this. All right, can you all see that? Now, here I go. Put this in there, make an indentation. There we go. Whoops. There. All right, get this needle out of here. There we go. Okay, so I'll continue with this in a couple days and see. I don't know, I still don't think that's right. Let me do this again. Gosh, I want to make sure it really works. Really want to make sure it works. I don't want any of that putty outside of this. I don't even really want it in that hole. There we go. I think maybe what I'm going to do is wait an hour for that to set up and then do the indentation. I think that's what I'm going to do. By the way, this is toast. This uh, Allen wrench I used earlier is toast. For me to get that super glue off, I had to use a sander and it made it smaller, which I knew it was going to. That's okay, it's still, you can get a hold of these. Get these Allen wrenches anywhere. All right, well, I can already feel this is hardening. This big ball that I did, this is hardening already. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can, you can see that pretty good in that camera, right? You can see how I filled that hole up? Now the hole I filled up, just so you know, the hole I filled up is not this hole because what's in there is this screw. This screw is in that top hole and this has been, this is uh, 
stripped. So I cannot, when I put my Allen wrench in the top one, it won't turn. It's all stripped. See, it's all stripped up here. So just so you'll understand this, okay? All right. Sometimes I don't know if I explain myself enough in the videos because people are always asking me the same questions I've already answered in the videos. So I want to make sure that now I'm being really, really specific when I say things. And if I'm not, I apologize. All right, so I'm going to wait a while. Then I'm going to put an annotation on there. Um, I'll come back about, probably about 30 minutes. And then I'll take my Allen wrench and push that in there to make an indentation. You know, kind of like when you were a kid and you used to put your hands in clay. You know, remember you just put your hands in clay. And then um, we'll wait till tomorrow and I'll try it and see if it hard. If it should be hard by tomorrow night when I get home from work from the salon. And then we'll see if um, it'll give me enough grip to turn that screw to get it out. This is my last resort. Okay, so I'll pause now and we'll come back tomorrow night. Hey, I want to show you this. This was that piece that was left over and it's only been 15 minutes. See how hard it is? So I had to go in and redo, redo it because it was getting too hard. I couldn't get it in there. So I had to pry it out and then put a new piece in. I'll show you. Let me see if I can get the camera up here. Hold on. Okay, can you see that? So I stuck the Allen wrench in there and you can see I made the indentation. And now we'll just wait. If it's going to get that hard that quick, maybe I can get this in 30 minutes, 45 minutes. But yeah, look, look, look at this. Look at this. Uh, that's how fast it hardened. All right, everybody. I let this sit for about three, four hours. And you can see here's the pieces left over. That's one, and it's hard as a rock. Here's the other one from before. That's hard as a rock. So let's hope that this got hard as a rock in my, let's try it. Nothing. Nothing. Ugh. Let's try the old one. I'm putting pressure. Not turning anything. All right, so now I'm going to take a larger Ellen. Wrench and see if they'll fit in there. Nope, I'm getting nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I have a feeling it's going to cost me big bucks to have this whole thing replaced. I just have that funny feeling. Well, okay, it's definitely going to go into the repair shop now. So I'll probably just have to use my other brand sergers until this one gets fixed. Well, I mean I could use this serger as long as I don't have to change this needle. I could put the other one back, the other needle back in right now. Put the other needle back in right now. Let me put this screw back in first. Isn't that something? Well, I will just keep using this until uh, I see a problem with the needle. I mean, there's no deck, there's no secret sewing I can do on this. I can't even use my cover stitch because I can't take these needles out. So I'm gonna have to just wait. Oh, this is so freaking sad, isn't it, man? Yeah, I'm just gonna wait to take it in. Until I absolutely have to have it. I mean, it's not like I don't have any other sergers. It's just that I would have loved to have featured this serger. Okay, now let me put that light up in there. Okay, that needle's not all the way up. The needle's not all the way up. How can you tell if the needle's not all the way up? Well, there's a little hole. There's a little hole. Two little holes up here on this side. And you can see if your needle's not up all the way in there. That's how you can tell. Ah, so now I just put the needle up there and I could see it's all the way up at the top there now. In case you didn't know that trick, 
Now you do. Okay, let me, let me just do this. Well, I want to thank everyone who gave me a suggestion to help. But it, it appears I'm going to have to take this into the repairman. And unless he's got some kind of a secret way of getting this off of here, unless he's got some secret way of getting this one out of here at the top, um, they're probably going to have to replace this whole bar. That's probably going to cost me some money. So, oh, this does work. Oh, so this does work. My old Allen wrench is working again. All right, that's on there. This ain't doing nothing up here. And you all are witnessing, watching everything I did. I tried everything. And I even, your suggestions out there, I tried everything. Everything. Oh, boy. All right, well, thanks for being with me, everybody. And thanks for my little journey here. A um, little frustrating journey I've got here. And, and, and you all, I've even tried pliers. I mean, I even tried taking a pair of pliers and seeing if I could somehow unscrew that. You know, I did all that before. I am nothing. So, rather than me try to ruin this anymore or anything, like I said, I'll just use this until the needles wear out. And then uh, I've got two other sergers I can use right now, too. But this will eventually go into the repairman. So, thank you all for following on my journey. I mean, if you have any other comments, right? Uh, if there's a special tool that you all know about that you can let me know about, I'll be happy to try that tool. Because I've done everything here that I could, and I just can't get nothing in there. This, this just won't, you know, it's not happening, everybody. It's not happening. And I, I've tried turning this. It's not turning nothing. Nothing. It's just... All right. Thanks, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.